chapter, let's continue by talking about some non-banking financial institutions. Up to this point, we've examined banks as the major financial institutions in the United States. However, other firms also provide financial services, loans, and other traditional bank-like products. Non-banking institutions that perform financial services include such things as insurance companies, large pension funds, mutual funds, brokerage firms, and finance companies. There are many non-financial firms that help finance customers' purchases of expensive equipment. Automobile companies such as Ford and General Motors have traditionally also had credit subsidiaries to help their consumers finance their cars. Insurance companies are businesses that protect their clients against financial losses from certain specific risks or specified risks like death, injury, disability, accident, natural disasters, etc. <clears throat> In exchange for a fee, they provide, the fee is called a premium, and they provide this coverage in case there's some sort of a large-scale loss. Pension funds are managed investment pools that are set aside by individuals or corporations, sometimes unions or other non-profit organizations, that provide retirement income for its members. One, uh, one type of pension fund is an individual retirement account, or an IRA, which is established by individuals to provide their own personal uh, retirement. Uh, 401ks, 403bs, uh, the first for profit companies, the second for nonprofits, are um, other types of, uh, re of pension fund or retirement accounts. We also have uh, mutual fund pools, which are individual investor dollars that, that uh, brings a bunch of people's money together to invest in a large number of well-diversified securities, uh, generally considered to be the safest, uh, safest investment for uh, more passive investors that don't do a lot of analysis and tracking of the securities, the individual securities themselves. Um, these companies uh, or individual investors buy shares of a mutual fund in the hope of earning a high rate of return in the same way that people buy individual shares of a stock. Individual shares, of course, have risk that that company will run into trouble, whereas a mutual fund uses, uh, uses a sophisticated financial modeling to diversify away some of that individual risk. Broker fund, brokerage funds buy and sell stocks and bonds and other securities, and they do that for their customers, and they also provide other financial services. Uh, large brokerage firms include Merrill Lynch, Charles Schwab, uh, Edward Jones, um, other, they offer these financial services um, at, uh, as, as, uh, as ways to, for individuals to buy into or be able to buy into and, and use and trade in the stock market. Most brokerage firms really uh, part, there are really a part financial conglomerates and they provide many different kinds of services besides just buying and selling securities. For, uh, for example, Merrill Lynch is also an investment banker as is Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs. Investment bankers are different in the sense that they underwrite new issues of securities. And by that, it means that they're the ones that negotiate with potential buyers of securities when an individual firm wants to become a public company. And then they underwrite by buying the shares initially and then selling them or passing them through to the investment pool that they've identified for the initial public offering before the public before the shares are sold into the market itself. Um, municipalities need to raise money uh, in the capital market. For example, they also underwrite bonds uh, and um, in states uh, to, to sell their financial products into the general marketplace uh, by underwriting that those situations, do all, doing all of the analysis essentially and making the shares public, available to the public. A new issue in a market is called a primary market because the sale of the securities is done for the very first time. They come from the treasury of the company and are sold first time for the market as a primary market offering. Um, after the first sale, securities trade in what's called secondary markets, where you buy from another, from one, from a different investor. Um, you buy through a brokerage firm. Finance companies, um, they're businesses that offer short-term loans at substantially higher rates, usually, in interest in bankers because they're assuming a, a, a more risk. 
Commercial finance companies make loans to businesses requiring their borrowers to pledge certain assets like equipment, inventories, unpaid accounts, um, and this is done for collateral for loans. Most large-scale um, loans like that are offered with collateral, meaning that the bank has an option, if you don't pay it back, where they can get ownership of some other kind of asset, a physical asset or sometimes a uh, financial asset, like, for example, shares of stock. Here's an example, State Farm. Uh, their, uh, their users uh, input their information into this website or into their website and they can gain off they can gain um, a web, uh, auto insurance quickly and conveniently. I think we're all aware of various kinds of insurance companies. Another important uh, financial firm type firm is called a hedge fund. These are large pools of money. Uh, that are managed and used to invest in activities that promise high returns on investments. Uh, these are usually private money, large uh, pools of private money from high wealth individuals or institutions. Um, there's a high minimum initial investment requirement for those who wish to participate in a hedge fund. And consequently, only the, the wealthy, the high net worth, they call those kinds of individuals are able to be involved. Uh, they're similar to mutual funds with the exception that the investments are made um, investments made with hedge fund money are allowed to take higher risk because they're professional investors involved rather than individual consumers this increases the chances of a higher return which of course is the main reason someone would invest in a hedge fund rather than a, um, a regular mutual fund um, they also sometimes use sophisticated uh, option techniques to try and increase their return either in both in up markets and in down markets. Um, the next lecture we'll talk about some additional uh, services and functions that uh, the banking industry provides.